let's start here so if this is going to be the output of the battery maybe i think this should be fine Hello guys, welcome back. This is Stationers. Let's play on Rulan episode number 3. By the way, if you do like what I do, you can hit that subscribe button. Thank you. I will print more steel frames because I do want to make today some kind of a foundation for the base. So the base would be in this direction, basically around the hydrogen geyser so let's do it so this is going to be another small platform for filtration i would like to get the hydrogen from the geyser so and i would like to have some space for stationary batteries so let's print some batteries as well so batteries are printed in electronic printer and let's take a look what do we need we need gold copper and steel i should have steel somewhere here yep so steel copper and gold so i will print just few of them maybe like three or four so a little bit more gold and copper and then I will find a space for them. So I do have more frames, so let's go back to the platform. And the batteries, I'm thinking how I'm going to place them. I don't know yet, but I'm sure I will find out some kind of a position for the batteries. So one more steel frame, that should be enough, at least for now. Now I need steel sheets to weld this platform. So let's print steel sheets. So steel sheets right now and oh shoot. <laughs> so I do have five stationary batteries. So this is one, two and I do have three more. So this is four. So let's go back. And I need to weld the platform because otherwise I can't place them over there. So next plan is uh, to do a filtration and then I can have a gas fuel generator because basically I do have unlimited source of hydrogen and unlimited source of oxygen, at least on Rulan. So I can get the oxygen from the atmosphere. So let's build this platform, this will take a while, I will weld it one by one, just like this, and then I will decide where I will have those batteries. So I do have just one more ray or steel sheet. <laughs> The sound of that welder swinging, swinging around it, it is so funny. So let's weld a little bit more. So this is the platform. I know what I'm going to build it, build on this platform or beside this platform, but I'm not going to tell you right now. You can have a guess. So I will hide the welder, I will collect those steel sheets and I will stop the printing process. So I have two, 10 steel sheets, that's perfect. So where I do want the battery grid. So let's start here. So if this is going to be the output of the battery, maybe I think this should be fine. 
So that's two batteries. Three batteries right now. And I need to do a little bit of extension for those batteries. So let's take a look if I do have enough of space. It looks like I do, but I will extend it just a little bit more. So I will have space for two more batteries. And if I will add a few more frames, then I can add even more batteries. So now I need steel sheets. So now I have a bit bigger platform, so I can do something with it. So I will leave the sheets and frames here. Okay, so I do have only one frame, but I do have two more batteries. So it will go just like this. Perfect. And I don't, I don't know if I do have the cables for it. Yes, I do, but not much. So this is going to be T section, T section, T section, T section, and one more. And now, now I need to print heavy cables. So let's go back to the electronic printer. And I'm not sure if I do have the materials for it. I can print a little bit more than 20 heavy cables. So I will bring more copper and more gold. It looks like I want to do... It looks like I will need to do little bit more mining but I'm not going to mine and record because that's the boring part I will record without or I will mine without recording so this is the first battery and I really need more heavy cables so let's go back to the electric printer and I think I should improve that electronic printer so now my battery is dead <laughs> so I will go like a blind guy but I think I do have some batteries in this place so I will change the battery in my helmet or not helmet in my headlamp I can do just a little bit of work right now I should I think I should Buy, uh, buy or not buy I should build a battery charger because this is happening to me too often like uh, running without any light so then I can't see anything what is happening so D section D section and guys if you saw my previous let's play I'm absolutely sure you know what I'm doing why I'm connecting these batteries like this because next thing what I want to do, like not exactly next thing, but soon enough, I will do the circuit for the battery grid display. But I don't know where I'm going to place it yet. Maybe I can have a two circuits because one can run outside and it will run my coal generator. So the coal generator output is over there, but I can move it. So let's go for more cables, and I think I need to take a look what I do, what I need for the mod. Where can I print? Oh, in electronic printer, I can print the, the mod for auto light, and then I can print a little bit more mods. So I'm going to place a little bit more frames over here so then I can walk around without any stress that I will fall into some kind of a hole in my platform. So I will weld it and a little bit later I'm going to move all the machines from this platform to this platform. Because I want to have that machines behind the, the batteries. So first thing what I would like to move is this solid fuel generator. 
So dear solid fuel generator <laughs> Dear solid fuel generator you go with me. Maybe I can rotate it this way. Maybe Yeah, I can. Now I'm thinking what would be the best place for the solid fuel generator? I will leave it here. It should be fine. So now I just don't want to connect the the cables. I don't want to make any any kind of a short circuit. Let's connect the solid fuel generator, and now we can try to run it. So I will turn all the batteries. And I think I should connect the solar panels to, to those batteries because I'm getting free power right now. So let's do it. And I should do it fast. So how I'm going to do it? The printer is still printing so I need to wait. So let's connect this cable temporary. At least I will get some power from the solar panels. So I need to turn off the printer and I'm going to move this APC somewhere else. So let's do it very fast. And I need to cut these cables over over here. So let's cut it. So my machines have no power right now, that's fine, because I'm going to move it, move them, so just like this, and cut these guys, and I'm not going to smelt something or anything for a while, so I should be fine. So let's take a look if we are charging the batteries. Yes, we are, that's perfect. So the APC will go somewhere here or i can place it on a this is the output so i could have two rows of batteries here oh shoot one battery is not connected so let's connect it and i'm just thinking how to do it so all the batteries are connected and they are getting the power so this is the output from the batteries so i think i'm going to place a frame at least one maybe somewhere here and then i can weld weld it and i will place the apc on it with the battery charger so let's weld it and this is going to be the place for charging the batteries so it's welded now and what's next so i will place the apc somewhere here or somewhere here yeah this is fine so now i will take this nuclear battery Hopefully I will have no short circuits or some crazy battery energy output. Otherwise I will see some cables burning. So APC is online and I do have only one heavy cable. But I do have some cables over here. So let's take it and I will think what to do next. Because I need to move all those batteries or machines behind that APC. So the solar panels are charging the batteries. So now I can see if I move if I would move it a little bit then it would be better. Or I can connect those like the another row of the batteries with cable around these batteries. Let's take a look how does it look like? So four five so i can place five more here and everything will be perfect yeah 
what I'm not going to do is right now I need to move some machinery but where the hell do I want to place the machinery so let's move the electric electronic sprinter first so how to take it apart with a crowbar with a wrench no with the grinder yeah now the crowbar no wrench no screwdriver <laughs> no so how the hell to do it so let's see so the electronic printer has been dismantled i'm going to place it somewhere here like not too far from the spot where I will work the most of course I could place it on top of this frame like uh, on a first floor but not sure about it so I don't know oh, come on <laughs> I'm not so fast <laughs> they couldn't get through this gap that's not fair right <laughs> So plastic sheets, iron sheets and cable coils. Why the hell do they have different color after dismantling the electronic printer? I'm a little bit confused guys. Because now I have no idea what color it is. But it looks grayish for me. So let's build the electronic printer. So that was the sheets now the cables now the plastic sheets i think then a screwdriver and it's done boom piece of cake so do i have the cables yes i do so let's connect it to the power and now i'm thinking where i will build the the rest of the machines because i want to i don't want to have it uh, in my way when i will try to build something so let's this way to the apc just like this and we have the power in few seconds just like that now i can close the apc with a crowbar and it would be or it could be better can the electronic printer run? Yes, it can. So now I need to transfer all the resources to it and I will try to print something. So I'm going to use my backpack for the materials and this should be fine. So let's go back and I'm going to feed the electronic printer with everything I have. So let's take a look auto light printer mode yes i want it but i need what do i want? electrum i don't have any electrum oh come on i need to smelt some electrum the batteries are discharging and i should have some coal somewhere here there was a coal on the ground like not in this hole but yeah through it i'm going to do it this way so let's charge these batteries so now i am getting the power from the solid fuel generator and the solar panels so how can i build my platform a little bit better i'm sure i will move it or i will rebuild it many times but now i'm just thinking guys sorry for wasting your time but wow this is so loud this is so loud i need to i need to go away from it it is so light i did lower the the volume of the game already but it is so loud so what do i have here coal some food i'm a little bit surprised that i am not hungry in the game yet but mentioning hunger, I, I'm sure I will see the, the icon showing me that I'm hungry already. So cable coils, okay. So I will place it here and 
this is the autolite but i need to move the autolite as well so let's move the autolite now crowbar no wrench no what about the grinder yep screwdriver no no crowbar no wrench no <laughs> So how the hell can I dismantle it? I never know how to dismantle it guys, never. Is it even working this guy? Do I have a battery in it? Yes I do. So how to dismantle this guy? No. Grinder. Come on. No. Screwdriver. No, I don't want to construct it. I want to dismantle it. Oh, the wire cutters for this stupid cable course. That's not fair. What about the wrench? Now the grinder. Grinder and the wrench at the end. Perfect. So let's move the hydraulic pipe bender. And I will place it. I have no idea where I'm going to place it. If, we, if I will place it here, it is going to be too close, and everything that I will print will end up in this electronic printer so i think i need to extend this platform again just a little bit and this is happening all the time guys if you are building something then you will see like okay i don't have enough space and whatever but i could build it behind this guy right well, let's find some frames and of course i can't print any frames right now because these guys off okay, I do have iron frame but I don't want to print something with iron frame but I think I can I think I can go around it because I don't want to connect the cables but I do have a PC somewhere here I think I think I had two do I have only one auto light what is in what is inside this backpack? Nothing. So I do have really only one APC. How the hell is that possible? I thought that I have two APC. Because I'm almost almost sure that I did loot or I did scavenge two APCs. So find this out. Oh, I'm just blind, guys. I am blind. So. I will place this APC here and I will use the charged battery just to print some frames but I need to find that battery where the hell is it so one is here inside this the APC that's the nuclear battery so I will use the nuclear battery it, it will last not forever but long enough so frames let's do some frames i don't know how many but maybe 10 and i should have a battery somewhere here but i can't remember where it was like the battery is completely dead oh here so guys if you are wondering why i'm looking for something so long I'm colorblind, so basically when I am running around this battery, I can't see it. Like, I can, but barely. So, I will take this battery and I will place it in APC. So, now the, the battery is charging and I should have some frames already. And let's place some frames. So, let's go back to the, to the platform and... I would like some frames over here so this will go around this electronic printer and maybe the auto light will be from the other side of the electronic printer so let's take a look if it is good enough just like this and I think I will need to print some stairs as well so this is the platform for more batteries but i'm not going to make more batteries yet so just like this 
and now I'm just thinking if I would have a like a I could go around and I could have a stairs here but I still need to print some sheets and frames so let's go back oh shoot <laughs> so I do have some sheets I do have some frames so let's print stairs one stairs please and I need a little bit of iron come on is this possible okay I do have the iron so I'm saved so let's print one stairs I would like to see how it will look when I will place the stairs behind these this is the stairs so stairs and now I need to place some frames so let's try one two and one under it I don't like the frames to be in the air just like this so I will build another small platform on top of these frames over here but I think I need <laughs> I think I need more stairs because without jetpack running around like a monkey no I don't like it I don't like it at all so let's weld these frames again I'm sorry guys uh, about so much welding in this episode but planning the shape for your base it is very difficult oh shoot <laughs> right, so the, the battery is dead the hydrogen geyser but there is a ba battery right here so I am alive I didn't fall so this is the platform for I don't know for what but at least I do have the platform but I don't have the space or place for the outlet so no for the pipe bender because I will need the pipe bender right now so if I will place it here I know it looks <laughs> I know it looks stupid I know it's against health and safety but who cares I'm here alone so nobody will get injured so let's go up and I will try to finish this pipe bender but I don't have the I don't have the sheets come on I'm not ready for this episode I have nothing printed and nothing ready so sorry guys this is more or less like a adventure guy game that I am just running from one place to another so let's try this guy okay sheets has had have been welded what's next that stupid cable calls right so let's find the cable calls Okay, I have it. And after the cable course, just the plastic. So I will drop the course on the battery and the plastic sheets, just like this. Now just the screwdriver and pipe bender is more or less done. So I will connect it to, to the power and I should be fine so let's write perfect so I do have the space or I do have the place or whatever it is and maybe I could go around this corner so it could be maybe a little bit better maybe connect it and we will see as always as always guys so guys before I will build something else I need Electrum. So, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.